Wow, finally found the new place that we're gonna move into. We just signed the lease the other day. One thing I am gonna miss a little bit though is this little view we do have. If you look over that way, let me expose you guys. There's the Hollywood sign right there and the Griffith Observatory. But this whole place only has one washer dryer that this whole unit shares. So there's probably like 30, 40 people using the same washer and dryer. So I'm about to do my last batch of quarter fed laundry. Very excited about that. Dang it. Forgot the laundry key. Laundry rooms usually lock because it's not uncommon to get your clothes stolen out of the dryer. Yep, definitely not gonna miss this part. And another thing, you know how you're not supposed to leave any gear in the car? Well, every time I was done with a shoot, I would have to go up this staircase, this set of stairs. I have another set of stairs to go up. This was brutal. Dylan, are you excited to move? Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to the new studio. Hey, thanks for keeping the studio safe. And here we are at the new studio. And real quick, I just wanted to say, Thank you guys. This literally wouldn't have been possible without you guys. We're just about to hit 200,000 subscribers today or tomorrow. This has literally been like completely unreal to me. I've been talking about having my own studio space for literally over 10 years and finally, Finally, we are here. It's actually not a massive space. It just looks kind of big because I have a 10 millimeter lens on this ADD, so everything looks nice and wide and distorted. But really, this used to be a two car garage and they converted this into a studio space. The guy that lived here before me was a DJ. So he like soundproofed all the walls so I could scream and nobody will complain. This is awesome. This literally would not have been possible without you guys, so. Yeah! And having this space, I'm realizing there's two things that's making me so motivated and inspired to like film a ton of stuff is one, having all the gear already kind of pre-set up here. Cause I'm really, really lazy and I don't think we should underestimate how lazy we are. It's so much easier to go and film something if the camera's right there and ready to go opposed to having it tucked away in the corner. You pull it out and you're like, oh, these batteries aren't charged. Let me charge it. Oh, let me dump this memory card and da da da. And I'm realizing that the more accessible I make everything available to me and simple to me, then the more I'm gonna use it because literally just the simple task of pulling out the tripod from the bag, setting it up, putting the plate on the camera, putting the battery in, there's little steps and they don't take long, but if you do it every day, you just kind of feel like not wanting to do it opposed to me always having like a red camera right here. I just push the button on it and it's ready to record. My point is that you can have all of the gear and the skills and the ability and time to do awesome things, but I found my Myself struggling to go out and shoot and create because of like little inconveniences. So really the big motivating factor for this space for me is to just have everything very available and easy. So just having this space that is just dedicated to filming is seriously a dream come true. So why don't I just start with this setup and I'll take you around. Over here, we've got the Canon 80D. The EOS R is a better camera, but I'm shooting on the 80D because because this is a camera I can just leave here all the time because I wanna use this as my vlog camera. Every time I take it out, I wanna bring this with me. So I want a camera that just stays here all the time. So we got the ADD right here with a 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens. And I got a dummy battery running over to a V mount battery just because again, I don't want this thing to constantly run out of battery. I don't wanna to have to change it. This V mount battery will last hours and hours of filming and I don't really have to worry about the battery batteries being charged. And up here I have a Canon M50 with a 20 millimeter prime lens for the overhead shots. This is a yellow orange paper roll and we have a Westcott flex light up here. Just kind of adding a little bit of that glow behind me. And it comes with this little dial so I can kind of adjust the intensity of it, but it just kind of takes this background and makes it a little less flat. It just kind of gives me a little bit of that little punch. And then of course I got my beautiful red camera here so I can flex as much as possible. And then I have a Mo Richardson Fresnel. It's an LED Fresnel and those are awesome for shaping light. So it creates a nice little highlight for the camera and also a little sharper glow that's a little bit more controlled than this one. This one's just like a nice round bubble and this one's kind of shaped a little bit. Main light over here is one of my favorites. The Aperture 120Ds on wheels and we have the dome light on it which 
which makes it so much more convenient because no matter where I go, I can just slide it around very easily. Again, I'm trying to design this place so it's very convenient to film in. And I actually really love this corner right here, which is just dedicated battery charging station. So I got my chargers all set up right here and I got my spare batteries down there. And down here, it's just all for memory. All my hard drives are just unorganized footage. Over here, we have our Movi Pro and all this crap. I'm not even gonna go into what each one of these things is or else this is gonna be a 30 minute video. And you can't have a studio without comfortable seating for your audience packing station over here. So when we load in and load out, I just kind of go here, get everything organized, packed up, and then it goes out the door. Mozzarella, you're kind of in my way right now. You okay? Are you alive? Here's some of my glass. And a lot of people always say, why do you always go with Canon cameras? Well, this is partially why all these are EF lenses. I feel like that's one of the big selling points of EF lenses is if you take it, you can throw it on something like this, but you can also throw it on stuff like this. You can buy it and you can literally use it your entire career. And then this right here is my giveaway shelf. So all this stuff in here is gonna be given away to you guys. DJI Osmo giving away this thing and a bunch of accessories for it in next week's video. Now, as much fun as all this stuff is to talk about let's get real as content creators most of our time is spent right here now as soon as i found out exactly how soundproof this place is the first thing i went and bought one of these guys i just went to guitar center and was like give me some good speakers i don't even know what model number this is i think it's the jbl 3 mark 2 i didn't really do much research but the guy told me that these were good and they're fairly accurate enough at least for what i'm doing in my apartment i always had to listen through headphones because i had neighbors in every single direction imaginable but man this has been a total game changer and how much fun it is to just like be in here by blasting music i get so motivated and so inspired but it's really a game changer i don't think i could have another studio without a set of speakers in it and uh you wanna come in? Can I come in? She just like runs into the door whenever she wants to come in. All the music I use in my videos are from Epidemic Music. You could try them free with the link below. 30 days for free, no obligations. It's like a monthly account, kind of like Netflix, and you can use as many of their songs as you want for your YouTube or Instagram or whatever. But I promise you that if you start struggling with creative block, just play through a couple of their songs and you'll be like, pumped to pick up a camera and go shoot. I have some foam set up on the walls to try to get rid of some echo. This is more temporary. I ordered some better acoustic panels, which should be coming pretty soon. So I'm hoping that'll help. But from what I understand, the goal is to just try to at least deaden all of these flat bouncy surfaces and kind of blocking the corners from just reflecting a lot of the sound back to you. So I've been trying to put as much stuff on the shelves as possible to try to just absorb all those sounds to get rid of that echo. But man, getting an acoustically treated room, it's kind of tricky because there's no real rule book on it. I hear a lot of people say that it's a lot of trial and error. So I've been randomly like tacking all this acoustic foam all over the place just to try to get rid of it. And I think it's been helping but hopefully as soon as those panels come in, this will just be like dead silent in here. But even with all this stuff, there is one thing that I find to be the most important, which is this very simple button right here. Didn't work. I gotta push it again, I think. There we go. There, the standing table, sitting for extended periods of time literally kill you. And it really comes down to the fact that your heart isn't meant to be just stagnant for that long of a period. I highly recommend that you stand up and walk around at least once every hour. This table is from FlexiSpot. They sent this out to me a little while ago and I am loving this desk. For electronic standing desks, they're pretty reasonably priced and they seem to be solid. This one's been holding up really well. It has a timer built in to let you know every 45 minutes is what I have mine set to, but it beeps and then it just lets you know, hey, stand up for a couple minutes and then you can sit back down. Now, do I look like a huge dork right now? Hell yeah, but guess what? I'm getting my heart rate up, I'm getting my energy levels up. I'm multitasking, I'm getting work done. I just cycled 
5.4 miles today. It slides on wheels, so it's very easy to move it around your office, but as soon as you sit on it, the wheels lock into place, so you don't have to worry about sliding it all over the place. Now, just to be fully transparent, FlexiSpot did send this to me for free, but I'm not getting paid us any of this. I'm not getting any commission off sales or anything like that. I'm just doing this because this is something that I actually really believe in. <sighs> Just hit six miles, whoo! Thanks to modern medicine and science, our lifespans are getting longer. We're expected to live longer than ever before, but our health span is getting shorter, which means we're gonna spend more years alive, but less years walking around and being healthy. We're gonna spend it in a bed, just like wired up to a bunch of UV thing. I don't know what they hook you up to, but they hook you up to stuff, it doesn't look fun. So these dorky little contraptions just aren't for weight loss or fitness. It really has a huge impact on how you're gonna spend the last 10 years of your life. Are you gonna spend it in a bed or are you gonna be running around? Studio is almost done getting set up and also Check out this yard that we have. We have a hot tub here, so that's gonna be awesome. Only issue is that there's no lighting out here, so at night it gets super dark. Those are Black Widow eggs. I'm kind of terrified. Those are pretty big eggs. I'm gonna find a new studio space now. This is not gonna work. I just bought a bunch of these LED string lights, and we're gonna kind of just like put it all over from up there and string it across. They're LEDs, so each bulb only uses one watt, but puts out a decent amount of light considering the amount of energy consumption. So this is 25 bulbs, which is 25 watts, and this has to be the cheapest way to make a normal yard look epic. Imagine how awesome this whole background would look if it was just kind of sprinkled in with little bits of light. So I was looking at a couple of solar powered options and I came across this thing. This is actually a mason jar lid, so you thread this onto a mason jar and then attach this hook and then you can hang it wherever and they're not that expensive you could get it with the whole mason jar as well but it becomes quite a bit more expensive and i've seen mason jars at the dollar store so i bought a couple of these we're gonna hang them up hopefully they look awesome and if they do then i'll link them in the description i swear if carrie wasn't a teacher she could be like a hardware and diy building stuff channel Last time I stepped in dog poop and then I climbed the ladder and I came back down and I was like, why does my hand smell like poop? Woo. We're gonna have to get another set of these. This is awesome. This is what they generally come looking like and then you just kind of unravel this little LED here. I'm so domesticated. I've only been living in a house for a couple days now and I'm all excited about setting up these little mason jar lights. Tune in next week uh, where I cook some cookies. Check it out. This is what it looks like during the daytime. It's gonna use these solar powers to soak up that sun and then turn off the light. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. Turn it back on quickly. Now we are hanging this in a tree, so it's not gonna get that much direct sunlight. I'm a little bit concerned about how much light it's gonna get, but we're gonna hang these up and we'll see in a couple days or so if these are still glowing at night. This is kind of our living room, but we're also gonna convert this into kind of like an editing bay. So we have one computer set up over here. And of course, all of them are gonna be flexi spa tables. That's gonna be Gio's workstation. Dylan's about to set up his workstation. And this is Lefty's workstation. Being productive over there? All right, let's build this table. This table is actually very, very simple to install. You just put it together and there's like six screws total to put together and it gives you this one tool and this is all you need to actually put the whole thing together. So that was actually very simple. Hey, so Dylan, what do you think about your brand new desk? Sorry. Dylan, they sent me this desk so you have to act kind of excited, okay? Take two. Hey Dylan, what do you think about this desk? Oh, it's cool, man. That's not more. Make me believe you. Hey Dylan, what do you think about your desk? I love it. You have three different height settings that you could program in. So this is your standing position. So I'm gonna program this as your standing position. And then when you bring in your chair, we'll set in a secondary position. Now all we gotta do is clean up this mess, which we'll do right after the hot tub. Ooh, and today a few more finishing touches came in. These are acoustic panels here. Talking into this, I can hear it absorbing my voice. It's kind of crazy. I got a couple of these. I gotta set them up on all the major walls here and that should help a whole lot. I also got that rug, which I was told was supposed to help with the reverb a little bit and a more legit backdrop holder that's supposed to hold multiple backdrops drops instead of just that one. The backdrop over there I got for like 35 bucks and it works, but it doesn't really go up very high. I figured since these are gonna be permanently set up, I might as well get myself a legit set that can hold a couple different colors all at once so that I can switch out the colors very easily. Got the sound panels all done and listen to this. Oh my God, no echo. Sounds so much better than it used to. This is what it sounded like when I first started. Sound test.
This is test number one. Got the new backdrop set in, so see it's a little bit higher and there's three different colors I can choose from. The previous one didn't go as high, so it would cut straight through my head and this one still cuts through my head a little bit, but not as bad. And it's easy to change the different colors. You feeling a little bluish today? Let's try that out. Let's wrap this up by reading a few comments from the last video, which was all about the Osmo Pocket. Top comment was, I'm really surprised as to how well the Osmo did in low light compared to the GoPro. Great video once again, the studio looks lit. Thank you, and yeah, I agree. The low light on this thing isn't terrible. Maddie says, fresh new studio, I like it. Thank you, Maddie. Bring the camera closer, I'm not used to this distance between us. I'm actually really close to the camera. It just looks a little bit distant because of that super wide angle lens, but like I can literally touch the lens right here. I mean, like it's, you're right there. I could zoom it in a little bit more and then that would look a little bit more normal like this. That looks pretty good actually. But I kind of like the rawness of this wide. Why don't you use green screen cloth in the background instead of orange so you can do green screen? <laughs> I should get a green roll. I think that would be kind of interesting, but that's kind of dangerous. I think it would be an interesting look, but I don't know how comfortable I feel about you guys having easy access to all my footage being like super easy to key out and you guys can go crazy crazy with the background. I am afraid to do that. I do want to experiment with a bunch of different colors, so we'll see. Cat's Health says, I will be so happy if I win Osmo Pocket. As for me, this camera will be perfect for my channel where I'm filming homeless pets to increase their chance to find home and for another videos about pets and their health. I think this camera will be perfect because it's pocket size and because when you are filming cats and dogs, you never know when the right moment comes up. Uh, yeah, all you guys trying to win this Osmo Pocket, you better stay Step up your game. I mean, come on. Vito, what do you think? Do you think you should win the Osmo Pocket? Yeah? Okay. Pets Health, congratulations. You've won the Osmo Pocket. So I'm going to send this out to you. And PETA says thank you very much. And I'll talk to you guys later.